aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So if you guys have been following my channel, you guys know that I have been cranking out holiday beauty product palette set review videos really frequently. Frequently is the word I was looking for there. This is a product that I haven't reviewed yet and I have gotten an unbelievable amount of requests to review this product set palette and it is the Too Faced Everything Nice palette. This product retails for $56 and it is very, very reminiscent of Too Faced gift set or the big holiday palette that they released last year. This is a Sephora exclusive product so I do not believe you can get this on any other site or an Ulta or anything like that. And before we jump into the actual review, I just want to start off this by saying this is going to be a rave review on this product. I really, really, really like this set. First off, we will start with the one thing I'm not crazy about in the set. You do get this makeup bag, which looks pretty. It's a really, really nice hot pink glittery bag on the front. It's kind of, you know, metallic on the back and it says Too Faced in gold writing. In theory, this is a nice bag, but the glitter falls everywhere. It's not like sealed. I wish they would have just put like a little, you know how there's like that coated glitter where you can't actually feel the texture of the glitter and the glitter doesn't actually go everywhere. This is not that. Glitter goes everywhere. Glitter will get into your makeup. Glitter will just fly everywhere. So I'm not crazy about this bag. But as far as the stuff we actually care about in here, love it. So the first thing you get in the set is a little deluxe sample size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a really, really popular mascara by Too Faced. It's probably their most popular one and it's also their newest mascara. And I actually quite like it. I do enjoy it. It gives my lashes nice length, nice volume. This is a nice little travel size version of it. And now let's talk about the important thing. This is the outer packaging of the actual makeup palette. It is made really nicely. It's like a nice cardboard. If you aren't a fan of this whole uh, animated, very bobbly, out there uh, print, you may not be crazy about the packaging. I think it's really fun for the holiday season. And now onto the stuff that we actually care about inside the palette. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. You get a little plastic sheet here that just kind of separates the two sections. So this is the overall layout of the palette. On top, you are getting 20 eyeshadows up here. Then you are getting two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight. You're also getting a couple of brushes here as well as a little lookbook. Now the quality of these brushes is actually not bad at all. They are very, very usable if you wanted to use them. This is a really, really nice, really soft, flat brush. You could probably use this as a nice contour brush. You also get a little kind of slightly fluffy eye brush. This one isn't as soft as the face brush, but it's not bad. And then you get a really, really, really thin uh, angled eyeliner brush, which once again, not bad quality by any means. I am completely and totally in love with this palette because I love the color selection that Too Faced gave you. I love the variety of products, the variety of colors. I love how you have your cheek and face products down here as well as a really, really nice array of eyeshadows. I don't know why I was just tripping over my words there. I love how the names of the products are written on the palette itself. As you guys can see, everything has a name written, which is always appreciated. And I love that the palette smells like chocolate because they did include their Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which makes this entire palette smell like Cake. Now I'm going to jump into swatches of all of the eyeshadows in this palette. I will show you guys what they all look like when they're on my skin and then I will talk about the texture. So let's start off with this top row here. First off we have Turtle Dove which is a very very light matte 
cream white color. Then we have Dream On, which is a little bit more peach than Turtle Dove, but it's also a very, very light matte color. Then we have After Hours, which is a really pretty metallic, sparkly, um, medium goldy champagne. Then we have Fond of You, which is a light to medium matte brown. And then we have Knockout, which is a dark matte chocolate. Now we're gonna move into the second row. First off, we have Paper Rose which is a very very light slightly satiny shimmery pink then we have kindness is free which is a light to medium very metallic pink then we have marvelous which is a very very glittering taupey light purple then we have BU, which is also kind of a taupey, medium, matte purple. And then we have Secret Lovers, which is a dark, grape, metallic, charcoal grape color. Then for the third row in the palette, first off we have Heaven, which is a light, matte, cream color. Then we have Shiny Happy, which is a really, really pretty, very metallic yellow champagne gold. Then we have Honey Pot, which is almost like a caramel metallic gold. Then we have Don't Settle, which is a very, very metallic bronze. And then we have Girly, which is one of those really gorgeous metallic duochromes. It flashes from like a reddish brown to like a green teal. And last up, we have some fun colors in the fourth row. Firstly, we have Totally Fetch, which is a really, really pretty, slightly satiny metallic hot pink. Then we have Live It Up, which is a metallic medium purple. Too Glam is the best color in this entire palette. I'm in love with it. It is a gorgeous metallic, like a forest green teal color. Then we have Head Over Heels, which was the worst performing shadow in this entire palette. It's the only shadow I actually had a problem with. It's a really, really thin textured, um, navy blue with some navy sparkle in it and then we have chocolate moon which is a dark charcoal black with gold and slightly green specks of micro glitter so as far as the textures of the eyeshadows in this palette I have to say they are gorgeous they are so soft smooth pigmented. They're just everything you would want in an eyeshadow texture. I have to say I really, really love the matte textures in this palette a lot more than I thought I would because a lot of times matte textures end up being chalky and powdery and flaky and not pigmented and the mattes that are in this eyeshadow palette are phenomenal. I think this third row right here of neutral metallics is probably my standout row. I love the mattes that are scattered throughout this palette, but these neutral metallics here are just gorgeous. The only one shadow I actually had a problem with, like I noted, was this blue right here, which is called Head Over Heels. It has a thin texture, it's not very pigmented, and I just don't see that shadow being um, very useful. You could potentially layer it over other colors to just give it a little sparkle, but honestly, without that shadow, I still think the eyeshadow palette as a whole is phenomenal, fabulous, Probably my favorite, actually no, definitely my favorite eyeshadow palette that I have reviewed thus far on my channel, at least as far as holiday makeup products go. And if you guys haven't seen all of my holiday review videos, I do have a playlist of all of the holiday review videos I have uploaded on my channel, and that is always the first link in the description box down below. So if you guys wanna see what other products I've reviewed, it's in that playlist, but this product, at least as far as the shadows, beats every other shadow palette that has been released this holiday. Now let's go into swatches and a review on the four face products that are offered here. First off, we have Sweet Pink Blush, which is a very, very bright baby doll hot pink color, and it does have a little bit of micro glitter in it. Then we have Papa Don't Peach, which is almost like a warm, neutral peach with a metallic finish. Then we have Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which on me pretty much looks like a face powder, but it is a uh, medium to dark uh, matte 
bronzer and then we have inner light which is the highlight and it is a kind of like a champagne gold also with quite a bit of micro glitter I have to say that the face products are not my favorite part of this palette by any means whatsoever the two blushes um, the pop it out peach blush which is this one here is really smooth and really pigmented but it is a little powdery and so is sweet pink I find sweet pink to be quite a bit powdery and kind of chalky on the skin. Chocolate Soleil is a really, really nice bronzer. It's a pretty standard bronzer, smooth, pigmented, creamy. It's the best product out of the four offered here. And the Inner Light Highlight is a little chunky. It's got a chunky texture and the base is also kind of a chalky, whitish champagne. So I'm not crazy about this highlight. Not crazy about either of the blushes, and the bronzer works as a face powder for me. So while the face products aren't the standout in this kit, the eyeshadows make up for it and more. This is just, this is gorgeous. So if you guys haven't checked out this palette yet, for $56, for 20 fabulous eyeshadows, okay fine. For 19 fabulous eyeshadows in that one that I'm not crazy about and for some optional you know cheek products I definitely think that this palette is worth the price and more I would highly recommend it to all of you guys if you guys can still get your hands on it I know the Too Faced palette that looked very reminiscent to this did sell out pretty quickly um, at Sephora last year so if you don't have your hands on this yet I would highly recommend it and I may or may not have bought an extra one for you guys for my big December giveaway that I'm gonna be doing. So that is pretty much all I have to say on the Too Faced Everything Nice palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this review video and like I said, definitely stay up to date on my channel by staying subscribed and check out all of my other holiday reviews that I have uploaded on my channel in the playlist that I have linked down below. And more holiday videos will be coming your way next week. So I will see you guys then, bye. The bag comes in this really, really pretty silver glittery makeup bag this time. I love the houndstooth. I know some people who don't like houndstooth, but I think it is.